Hello, my name is Alice and today I'm going to share with you my tips for building your own personal brand, self-branding and basically just gaining a little bit of a presence online for you to share your mission, your work, your creativity, all of that. So if you haven't watched my videos before, you won't know that I am a graphic designer and I actually share my creative journey online, on YouTube, on Instagram all about how I got here and sort of showing you guys how you can do it too. So I'll do tutorials, logo design, challenges, all that stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, please do press that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you'll see a lot more content like this. So without further ado, I'm gonna get straight into the video. I hope you enjoy it. So building a personal brand is often a quite a daunting task. I know Personally, I remember being told this back at uni and I didn't know where to start, so I'm hoping these seven tips will help you out. First of all, you need to figure out who you are and what you want, what your passion is. And in itself, that's daunting. I know my passions back when I was at uni all the way to now are different and that's okay. I think that's what's really important and what a lot of people value in personal branding is being honest and being transparent. So if you do start off wanting to be a photographer as I did and then transition into a graphic designer, as long as you share that journey and as long as you're honest and open about how you got there, then people will jump on board and sign up to you as a person. So if you are in need of sort of like finding about who you are, you need to ask yourself some questions. You need to do some soul searching. Like I said, this might not be set forever, but that's what's important. You, you're always evolving, we all are. It's not gonna be set in stone and that's fine. Don't like rush for that perfectionism, which is what I do very often. Just figure out what it is that you want right now. So ask yourself questions like, what motivates you? What do you excel at? What do you not really like? What do people tell you you're good at? What sort of projects can you sit down at your laptop and spend hours on and get lost, completely lose track of time? Ask yourself questions like that. I often find it really useful following workshops. So I follow workshops on websites like Skillshare and on there there's people who do this whole course on how you can sort of discover yourself and really tune into what it is that you find enjoyable. I know now with Instagram and online and TikTok and all that being so popular, you can get sucked into thinking, oh, I could try that too, or oh, that looks fun, let's try that. And it's often quite hard to narrow down what you actually like. So I definitely recommend doing a workshop or a few workshops, you won't instantly find out, but being able to sort of narrow down what your focus is and what your brand is about, that will really, really help in this process. It's also really valuable if you share your story. So for me personally, on my website, I have a little about page which gives a brief overview of how I've got to where I am. So I ideally want people to watch a video of mine, really like my personality, my content, anything like that, and press the subscribe button, or on Instagram, press the follow button. So by having that little bit of background and personality behind my brand means hopefully people will be more inclined to join and really understand the journey that I've been on without me waffling for 100 years, which I am quite good at, you know? <laughs> so if you just share your story and if you share how you got there, whether you are just coming out of school and you have a passion for being creative and that's why you're watching this video, you want to develop yourself. So for me, when I first started, I used to just say, I loved creating from a young age. I did all the craft kits and from there I taught myself Photoshop. I've been on a mission to teach myself everything online and now I want to pursue this further into a career. It could be as simple as that. Also sort of linking back in with finding out what your passion is, is staying true to who you are. I mentioned this briefly, but I've found, especially with TikTok, just showing you content after content after content, it's so easy to get sucked in to a new thing that looks so exciting and you wanna try everything. And I completely understand that. I am guilty of this. I often start new hobbies and don't continue them. Let's not talk about it. But basically I want you to stay true to who you are. So after doing that workshop, figuring out what it is that you like, what sort of ignites the spark in you, then try and stay true to that. Of course, like I've mentioned, this is gonna change. None of this is set in stone, things evolve, but if you can sort of niche down and find something or a collection of things that you really like, 
then that will be really valuable. So for me, I've gone around a little bit. I've been changing my mind, but I've come to the conclusion I really like vlogging because they're quite chill and I really like making design content. So they're the sort of two pillars I work towards. They're the things that I will share on my Instagram and they're the things that sort of build me up as a personal brand. And you'll see in my Instagram bio, it says that. It says graphic designer, YouTuber. So you figured out what you like, you figured out what your passions are, where your creativity lies, and you've shared your story of how you got there. Now, it is so important to put your work out there, especially as a creative. So you can't build yourself as a career if you don't try and utilize the free platforms that we have available to us. So there's Instagram, there's TikTok, there's Reels. No doubt there's gonna be even more coming and I find it hard to keep up myself. But if you can get yourself just onto one of those platforms, let's say Instagram, that's where I sort of started and you can post all about your work, post your journey, share honest and open updates about what you're doing, then the likelihood is there's gonna be someone out there who's pretty keen on following someone like you. They're gonna like sign up and be on board with you and your journey. So create yourself a presence, basically. You need to get yourself out there, get on Behance, share your work, get involved with the community, follow people like you. You're not gonna be able to build a personal brand unless you surround yourself with fellow creatives, whether that's in real life or online, and also, unless you share your work no matter how much maybe you don't like your work maybe you don't think it's that good but seeing people's work in progress and seeing how your work evolves is a great way of building a presence so trust yourself create yourself an online presence and enjoy the process that's how this all started i just like sharing things i liked chatting i liked being creative that's why i made a youtube channel that's why i made an instagram and now here i am calling it my job it's all a bit crazy to be honest you also need to remember, when you do create these platforms, this online presence, you need to remember to be consistent. You don't have to be perfect. This is something I tell myself a lot, but consistency is key. So for example, when I was building my YouTube channel, I made sure I uploaded at least once a week. And that way I can sort of gain momentum, no matter how slow or how fast, slowly but surely I'd have more videos behind me and when you search my name in Google, I'll pop up. So through those many, many years of me just posting one video a week, being consistent, it meant that more people were seeing me and in turn it sort of snowballs and then hopefully you can build yourself a presence. So try to be consistent, try not to strive to too much perfectionism because in that sense you wouldn't ever post anything. If I waited till everything I posted was 100% perfect, I'd never post anything. So strive for consistency, not perfectionism. Or at least that's what I like to say. This next one is often something I try and avoid and a lot of people will be the same and that's failure. Don't be afraid to fail. I read a book recently that said if you don't try something without the risk of failing you're never going to push yourself. So for example if I hadn't spent all those hours working on those videos once a week I said no to some social things, I maybe put my uni work on a little bit of a back burner. If I hadn't have done all that and made that risk then I I wouldn't be where I am today. So don't be afraid if you fail. Long and short of it is if you fail, you're gonna learn from it. So maybe you do try out a new career path. Maybe you do wanna try and be an illustrator, but it's not actually what you thought it was. It's okay to step back and say, actually, I'm gonna just quit that. I'm gonna try and do something else. And that's absolutely fine. That's a part of the evolution of your own self-branding. Right back to the beginning of this video, I mentioned that things are gonna change. You're not gonna be a one-dimensional person that does one thing for the rest of your life. And that's absolutely fine. So if you feel like whatever you're pursuing isn't really sparking your excitement as much as you hoped it would, then don't be afraid to fail. Even even though that's not failure, that's actually being really brave. Don't be afraid to stop that and start again. That's absolutely fine. And it's something that I've sort of tried to avoid in the past. I am sort of scared of what other people think. In reality, do I want to spend years of my life doing something that doesn't truly make me happy? No, I don't. So I'm gonna take that initial scary moment of 
trying something new, hoping I don't fail and then going for it. So yeah, be ready to fail, but don't worry about it too much. And the last thing, and I promise I'll stop rambling after this, is to just enjoy it and have fun. I think the most exciting thing about creating your own personal brand is exploring new avenues and really showing everyone what it is that you can do. So by following fellow creatives, by putting your own work out there, you'll be able to develop a little online community of your own and you'll be able to feel inspired and truly get deep into that passion that you have. So honestly, just enjoy it. Enjoy the process of figuring out who you are. Don't put too much pressure on yourself to find that niche. Like niches are hard to stick to, let's be real. Find a little handful of things that you love and just go with it. See where it goes. If you fail, that's absolutely fine. You can learn from it and just share the journey, you know, share that story and believe in yourself, believe in what it is that you want to do. And that's it for this video. I hope you have taken something from this video. I often find when I film these like chatty videos, I sort of ramble and forget what I've said. So hopefully you've taken at least one helpful point from this. If you've got anything to add to the conversation, let me know down in the comments. We'll have a chat about it. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, good luck with your self branding journey and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye. Thank you.